Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk to Lauren from Beatport about Beatport Link. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Um, yeah, good, man. Good. I've had a I've had a week of uh, craziness with my daughter, but it's uh, which is nice. now <laughs> the end. It's all good. Um, so we're here today to talk about Beatport Link, and Beatport Link is a new thing, new new product from Beatport. Um, let's just talk about that in general a little bit, and and how it's come about, and why it's come about, and you know, and then we can, and then we'll dive into it and dive into your computer, and you're going to give us a proper walkthrough. Exactly. So um, Beatport Link, it's uh, the first step towards the the future of uh, DJing. Um, it will it basically brings your entire the entire Beatport catalog. Um, a combination of tracks that you've purchased and also uh, pretty much everything else within the Beatport catalog straight into your DJ software. Amazing. And in the near future as well, the, uh, it will be available in, in DJ hardware. Uh, for example, that, then in uh, integration uh, that will bring it straight into the DJ hardware. And that's pretty much where, where the future is going. Amazing. Uh, so we actually in, properly in, in, the, in the hardware are you doing the same with Pioneer as well? Obviously, there's a lot of Pioneer DJs. Exactly. So these these are discussions that we, we're, we're, we're having uh, from our end with pretty much all the partners. So we're yep. working with um, Pioneer, Denon, and pretty much every DJ uh, software and hardware manufacturer out there to make sure that um, our platform, the Beatport catalog, and the near future, the BeatSource catalog as well, yeah. which is more targeted for the open format DJ, um, that will be available um, straight in the DJ's hands uh, to start playing. And I don't know, maybe new DJs, people, you know, that are curious about DJing and want to start learning and developing their craft, uh, they have a good, solid uh, platform uh, music that is created and you know cut for DJ and they can start developing their sound um, using the service yeah one thing I thought about from the from obviously from the streaming of music it's very mm -hmm. good for the home user very good for the the first DJ that wants to start like literally access to a load of music that so they can just start learning straight away you know um, that's one thing I that really benefits you know. uh, exactly that, that is an incredible benefit actually for for for, for um any dj really um yeah. as a beginner dj you can really start honing in your skills uh with the entire beatport catalog or beat source catalog without having to go buy tracks that might not cut it in a few months time once you know you're going through the journey of developing yourself yeah i guess because right at the start you're just like i need some music i just need lots of music and i just want to <laughs> play lots of and then and then as you start learning and playing and it's like actually I've known then you find a genre that or genres that you sort of want to sit in you know or uh, absolutely and, and then all that original music you spent all that money on is just completely well not useless but it's just like it'll just get you know, pushed to the side so uh, exactly exactly and this way you can um it, it also lowers the, the the entry of investment uh for, for a user to to start developing a collection as well great amazing so, um, and then I guess from a, from a, from a mm -hmm. pro DJ, you're going to be the, the, I guess the goal is streaming in the booth and exactly. That's, so, a, that's a whole big challenge, but exactly. So that's, uh, it will basically follow the same trajectory of, uh, when CDJs were introduced in, yes. in a vinyl world, you know, it, it takes, yes. uh, it takes some time. It takes, uh, investment in infrastructure from, uh, clubs and promoters in order to start bringing this in. However, uh, we have that in mind already because uh, within DJ software, for example, Record Box, and we have Virtual DJ activated as well, we have an offline locker. So yeah. if, if you're, you're a DJ that you started developing and building your collection using Beatport Link, uh, you can store 50 or 100 tracks uh, within an offline locker. So once you show up to, the, to, to, to your gig, um, you can open up the laptop and you can play along with your own collection. So if you have a collection of MP3 waves or F files on your hard drive and you have uh, tracks from Beatport Link that you're still not quite sure if they fit the direction you want to go in your music, you can mix and match and gives you that uh, creative edge as well. Nice. Yeah, I always thought that the the the, the switch is going to be like that switch from vinyl. To, that's to CD to CD to USB. It was, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's 
people will adopt it and then when when the big DJs adopt it then the, the clubs will kind of may start to adopt it and they'll put the technology in place and I, th- I always feel like it's going to be a, a, a quicker switch than it is from, was when from CDs to vinyl to see, you know, to the next, uh, you know, these things are getting faster and faster. And I, Exactly. Technology moves very fast uh, yeah. this, this day and age, isn't it? And um, we're all very much um, accustomed to, to streaming. We pretty much, um, majority of the population, uh, we stream music day to day. Sometimes you're streaming music without even... Um, you know, realizing that streaming, that's how yes. convenient it became, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I, I, I stream everything these days. I <laughs> ba- barely use a USB. I, I don't even own a CD player anymore, which is quite strange. Um, yeah. Exactly. But, you know, in, in the DJ world, uh, that's, that's a very different story, isn't yes. it? Because uh, you still need your medium of music. You, you still need your collection. You need to develop a good collection, a good playlist that... Um, it's not something you develop overnight. It's, exactly. It's a playlist. It's a constant um, kind of inspect and adapt approach, isn't it? You, you play it, you got a good reaction, you add a few tracks, you remove a few. So it's a constant evolution that grows with, with, with the artist. Exactly. Exactly. So let's, let's dive in and have a look, man. Let's, if you can share your screen and let's, let's, let's show us around. I'm excited to see it, man. Perfect. Let's uh, get started. So... Let me share my screen. And we should be getting. So, can you see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Amazing. So, um, so this is Beatport Link. So, um, as we were discussing, uh, we have a de- uh, dedicated website to help uh, people that are wanted to learn a bit more about the product as well to 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 explore the journey. And uh, pretty much everything lives within uh, the Beatport store. So uh, once um, so, you know, once you're subscribed to Beatport Link and you log into your account, uh, you will find uh, a new icon that wasn't present before. Uh, it's called My Library. So um, basically, your uh, in My Library you will have three se- sections here. So you have the collection, playlists, and the download queue. So with every Beatport Link uh, subscription, you will have access to your collection. So this is in effect. Uh, all the tracks that you've purchased uh, throughout the history of your account within Beatport. So if you bought a track 10 years ago, it's, it's basically it's going to be here and you can re-download it or else you can quickly add it to a playlist. So to re-download the track is as simple as pressing this uh, Add to Queue button, which adds that track straight into the download queue here. As you can see, the number has increased from 7 to 8 now. Nice. Or else you can actually um pick and choose uh for example these four tracks and i'm gonna either add them to an existing playlist or else you can create a new playlist so for the purpose of uh this um this demo i'm gonna create a new playlist and then i'll show you a bit later as well how it all works within within record box so we're gonna call this my collection so basically, I've created a, a playlist called My Collection here. And once you move over to playlist, this is where the excitement becomes with Beatport Link. Um, so within, my, um, within the playlist sections, basically, I have all the playlists I have created since the product's been in existence. So you can see that, you know, there is pretty much, the, these are the playlists I personally play on, on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. Um, and everything I create here, there's no limits either. So as a, as a user, you can have as many playlists as you would like. And there's no limits how many tracks you can have within a playlist. For example, this one here, the Dub Techno box, for example, that has 330 tracks in it. And this is something I keep on adding every time I discover a new track. And these nice. are not necessary tracks that I personally bought. Uh, however, since I started discovering new music, certain tracks that I really like, I, I end up buying them because I lo- like to keep them within my own collection. Mm-hmm. And then uh, pretty much you have the download queue. So any track I added from my collection, it will be available here to, to re-download. So it's uh, as easy as clicking uh, the download button here and that uh, it track is downloaded in the form I originally bought it. So I bought this in MP3, so it's downloaded straight in MP3. Cool. 
Uh, another exciting way of actually uh, adding tracks to playlists, which is very natural to every uh, Beatport user, is uh, anywhere you will find uh, this uh, pink uh, button, uh, the, the buy now button basically. Uh, you can click on that one and you can add any track within the store. So any track within anywhere within the store basically. So if I play this track for example, Apologies about the loud noise. Um, you can add it even from here. Yeah. And what is also exciting as well is um, if we have uh, created a website dedicated purely for Beatport Link uh, exploration. So this is help. This is a website that will help beginners and professional DJs alike um, to explore new music. So we work very closely with uh, with artists and record labels. Uh, a lot of record labels and artists are on board the product as well. And let's say, for example, we're going to go on the first playlist here, uh, created by Adam Bayer, and this is uh, an entire drum code collection here. Nice. So as a, as a customer, uh, as a user of Beatport Link, you can click on this playlist, uh, be like, okay, there is uh, you know, quite a handful of tracks here, actually. So there is o over 60 tracks in here and you can add this to a playlist as easy as this so you click on the down arrow add to playlist and then you can create a playlist and this drum code 200 uh, playlist is created immediately so then i can go into my dj software and start mixing and matching pretty much straight away and one other useful feature that i've started using recently as well is I started exploring, I primarily play uh, minimal, dub techno, atmospheric techno. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also always liked uh, a bit of drum and bass. Um, you know, nice. lived for an extended period of time in London, uh, going to, you know, fabric vibes, etc. So that's something I really uh, absorbed. But I never really bought any tracks, um, any dub, drum and bass tracks, basically. So. Um, what I started doing is I explore playlists that are created by our curation team and artists. Uh, I added this playlist um, to my collection and I started experimenting with a little bit of drum and bass myself. Nice. And what I'm doing basically is I'm learning a new skill. So this is the good, cool, one of the very cool features of Beatport Link is that it can actually really challenge your, your creativity. And, you know, there's no limits on how far you will push yourself, basically. Um, so this is pretty much enough about the Beatport store. Let's uh, get things a bit in action now. So we're going to go into Recordbox. So once you load Recordbox and you are in performance mode, it's important that you're in performance mode because Beatport link, the Beatport tab here, won't be available if you're in export mode. Right. Once you log into Beatport Link, um, what I'm going to do is refresh. Since it's been open since we added a few playlists, I want to refresh so it will capture pretty much all the, playlist, uh, all the playlists that I have updated from my end. And these are the playlists that I just created. So my collection, for example, this includes all these four tracks, the four tracks I added from my collection. And as you can see, there's already some information basically because i've pre-analyzed them before cool. so even though it's a new playlist if i've analyzed that track in particular before uh, the information is stored so if i stored in hot cues for example the information is going to be stored within record box but then for example if we go to drum code 200 there might be some tracks that i haven't analyzed before and as you can see there's a, a lot of tracks here that have <laughs> been analyzed because this is a new playlist i'm still exp uh, exploring yeah and Basically, once you're in a record box, it's pretty much all natural. With the natural approach of how you use record box before, nothing really changed. You can, let's say, let's analyze the first four tracks. So I'm going to import the first four tracks in my collection. And what's happening right now is um, the track is being downloaded from our servers. And then it will be analyzed by, uh, by record box. So that, that track will be played at a later stage. Or else you can do the, the normal approach. For example, these four tracks, you can see they're being downloaded and analyzed. Or else I can do just a matter of drag and drop here. 
And as you can see, the track will start downloading from our service. So, and as soon as the track starts loading, pretty much you can play that track even before it's fully downloaded and analyzed as well. So let me put the volume down. So, and if you press play, the track is being played straight away. And it's as easy as that. And you can mix this with your own collection. For example, if I go uh, in my collection, so these are actual MP3s within on my um, hard drive. Oh, I have a few here. For example, this is one of my recent playlists. These are actual MP3 files. So uh, as, as, as a DJ, you can really mix and match the Beatport link tracks together with your own mm -hmm. um, collection or as you can really keep on exploring that way. And one of the other important and cool features as well is that within Recordbox itself, uh, you can search the, the Beatport catalog. Yeah. So let's say we're going to search on our track by uh, Richie Horton, for example. And what happens is Recordbox sends a request to our servers and get pretty much every track from uh, Richie Horton or that has that combination. And for example, I want to add um, this one, for example, is the same approach. You just drag and drop. So if you're DJing, and you know you were booked for an hour set and all of a sudden it became a three hour set because for some reason you can keep on searching music that you know and load it on the fly basically yeah i guess if you're also if you're playing like you get there and it's the wrong you've got completely the wrong genre then you can go uh, quick i'll go and find the right genre and, uh, and exactly you know you, it will help you adapt um to the vibe of the of the night you're performing in basically Great for wedding DJs and mobile DJs as well. They can just they can just if they get requests and it's like a cool idea, then it could just hit it on the fly. It's well cool. Exactly, especially with uh, the introduction of uh, BeatSource, mm -hmm. which has an extensive uh, collection of m open format uh, music. Um, it will live exactly the same um, like Beatport. It will be basically as part of the list will be displayed as BeatSource, and you know you will have pretty much everything else that is not available on Beatport, it will be available to perform. So if you're an open format DJ, within DJ, etc., you you have an unlimited library at your disposal. And the other important thing is uh, that every track that is played, um, automatically you're, the, there's a royalty going back to the artist. Amazing. So, you know, um, it, it's, it's, it helps uh, curb or reduce the need to for DJs, especially beginner DJs, to rely on I don't know a very typical YouTube rip, for example, or other mm. approaches of piracy that um, people might rely on. It, it it's quick. Uh, this one is quick. You have good quality music. It's high quality. It's the equivalent of a 320 MP3 as well. So um, despite your streaming music, you're not really uh, skimping on uh, on the quality. Cool, that's really cool. Uh, do you have any questions? No, I'm cool. It's no? fucking wicked. I really enjoy it. I think that's pretty much in a nutshell. And uh, you know, the playlist will be available on any DJ software um, that record uh, that Beatport link, and in the future, Beat Source will be available. In. So yeah, I remember you showed me an idea though. It just appeared on your record box on on your on your on the iPhone version, which is which is incredible. Exactly. So if I'm at a friend's house, I know doing a house party, and everyone is bored from listening this, to the same playlist that was created on uh, on on their own collection, and you wanna kick it up a bit and you know have a bit of a spin. You can literally just load up your uh, the app on an iPhone, and soon it will be on Android as well, and you can start mixing. It's plug and play solution. The record box can be plugged into the most basic, simple controller, all the way to professional DJ gear. So basically, you always have a good collection at your disposal at, at your at your disposal, as far as you have an internet connection, and it will work fine as well. On, on a 3G con connection. It's something I've personally tried as well. Um, well, 
there was no internet where I was, uh, as in no reliable Wi-Fi connection. I decided to do a hotspot from my phone, and we managed to do a very successful workshop all on a 3G connection Amazing. without any issues. That's wonderful. Wicked. And, yeah. it, uh, and people can you start using this now, or when is it available? So it is available now as, yep. uh, as a service. It's uh, from our end, it's still considered as a beta uh, version. Purely not because the product is not stable, because it's very stable. I've road tested it myself, and there were a few other showcases that has been uh, road tested successfully. Um, the reason why it's beta because we're still releasing features. Uh, the product is it's in infancy at the moment. Um, every two weeks, almost every month, there is a new feature coming in. For example, one new feature that will be available. Uh, shortly is having curated playlists available within uh, Recordbox. Sure. So you won't even need to leave Recordbox in order to get inspiration. So I can come to, I don't know, maybe some um, left field house in techno, um, the best left field house in techno uh, mm -hmm. playlist created by our curation team. Uh, you load it while uh, this is still work in progress it will be released very soon though within two weeks time it will be available and um, actually this is something we're fine-tuning as well and same same approach you can start pretty much practicing tracks uh, curated by our teams or uh, labels we work with basically and artists straight into your platform so you don't even need to leave record box uh, per se and then one other thing actually I haven't mentioned from my end is the beatport locker this is where all the offline tracks will live so nice. a track that is available here without a wi-fi connection you can literally just drag drop and as you can see it loads instantly as if it was an actual uh, file physically stored on your hard drive and the same mm -hmm. approach once you play an offline track offline once you connect back to the internet royalties, the play data is being sent back and then we can pay royalties back to the artists and labels. Incredible. That's amazing. Thank you so much for showing me around it. It looks cool. And uh, I'd love to have you back when, we, when you're releasing new features and we can talk about the new ones. So Absolutely. So uh, probably we'll catch up sometime next year then Yeah. Uh, because 100%. we have a lot more uh, exciting uh, features coming up as well. So uh, we have, uh, yeah. It's a very cool product that is only getting cooler by the day. It's yeah, I'm 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 blown away by it. It looks really cool, and it's definitely cool. going to be great for lots of DJs right away, which is great. Yeah, I wish when I was uh, building my collection, um, <laughs> and this was available. I would have saved uh, a ton of money on records that nowadays I don't particularly play. But they're me still too. sitting on my shelf as well. So, me, do you know what? Me too. I was thinking that as well. I was thinking there's a, there's, I could think of, I literally could think of at least 20 that I bought that I bought and then played them once and then went, mm, this is mm. not, not, not really what I wanted. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, man. Thanks for joining me. And uh, um, thank you very much for, for, for the opportunity to share uh, this, this product with you as well. Cool. And uh, if you're loving this product, drop us a comment below and in in, in, on, on YouTube and, and let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from the audience. Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. See you soon. See you. Bye-bye.